here guys and welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how you can design a function that can interpolate the clip signal in the previous video i showed you that how you can mark the clip segment in the signal so this video is the continuation of the previous one if you haven't watched that video that link will be in the description so this function will allow you to interpolate the clip signal in a data using 100 millisecond data before and after clip signal we are going to use spline interpolation and most probably cubic spline interpolation so let's begin the code so first of all we need to mark the clip segment so for that i will be using the function which i have defined previously After that we need to define the length of the interpolated data. In my case I am going to use 100 millisecond data before and after the clip segment. So next for all the segment in the clip signal variable I will define an array of 100 millisecond data before and 100 millisecond data after the clipping. So for that As we are going to use spline interpolation, so the input to the spline function are three variables. First one is array of independent input data. Second one is array of dependent input data. And third one is the degree of smoothness, smoothing spline. So let's define our first array of independent data. The independent data are the points on the original data set ranging in between plus minus 100 millisecond data around the clip segment so let me define that The dependent data array are the new points that we are want to interpolate. So let's continue the before clip and after clip data points. Now we have independent and dependent data. Next we have to define a univariant spline. The univariant spline is all, uh, already available in the sci-fi library, so let's call that library. So the degree of smoothness we are going to use 3. That means we are going to use a cubic spline for interpolation so now this function has to be applied to a new data before applying we want to generate an equidistant points to place in between the clip segment so this can be done as So this line of code will generate an equidistant points starting from 
100 millisecond data before the clip segment and ending at 100 millisecond after the clip segment point. The number of samples will be two times of the interpolated data that is 200 and plus the number of points between the segment. So let's apply interpolation to these points. So the new interpolated data will be At the end, we are going to integrate these interpolated points to our original data and return the new signal. There might be a situation in which the signal starts with a clipped point. So let's improve our function by adding some conditions. If there is clipped signal in at the start, do not do anything as there won't be any enough points to interpolate. So this is how you can define a function that can interpolate the data in between the clip signal. So let's try an example. We are going to use clip segment function and interpolate signal function. Before running an example, I can see that I have missed round brackets here because these entries are list. So you have to insert double round brackets for all of them. And similarly here for concatenation. and this whole thing should be the number of points so now everything looks fine so let's run an example first i will import the hard file library then i will import all the functions in this file i will load an example from hard file library and let's take a chunk of the data so suppose i will say that y equals to, to from 2000 to 3000 apply interpolation so I have kept the threshold at 970 and sampling rate of 170. So now I have interpolated data. Let's see a small portion of the interpolated data. So here you can see that we have values above than 970, which means that the signal has been interpolated. Please like, share and comment that how did you feel watching these videos. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Thank you.